Uh, and I'll keep an eye out for people entering the waiting room. Welcome to the September 7th Asia Pacific Community Call. The agenda looks pretty big, uh, but I think we can can work our way through it. But I think most importantly today, uh, Yuhui, you had talked about possibly showing a preview of the mm -hmm. software as a service. And I don't know if that's still something you want to do today. Yeah, actually, I today I invite, invited Getty Product Manager, Sheng Xiang, who is also the Compass front end uh, design architecture. Okay. Uh, he will uh, introduce the whole designing work uh, okay. of, the back of the front end. Okay, well, it's, it's nice to meet you, Xiang Xiang. And I've made you co-host. So if you want to share your screen to show, I, I would stop my share. Mm -hmm. Xiang Xiang, maybe you can share your screen. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, last way for menu. I will oh, share okay. screen. Okay. Yeah. Why does your camera work? <laughs> they are both in China, right? Uh, you know, you I use some proxy tool, which can help me. I also oh, use my, my proxy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, there. Leon's camera also works. <laughs> yeah, my camera also works. <laughs> okay, that's my problem. Yeah, just you, you know. <laughs> Maybe I need to buy my new one. <laughs> okay, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yeah, it's coming. And okay, Chengang, just to everyone. be clear, we're, we are recording this. So, you know, I just want to be clear on that. So if there are things that you yeah. show that you don't want to show, you just let me know. Sure, sure. Sure, it doesn't go to the to the to everybody. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, so Okay, let's begin. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. I'm Sheng Xiang, uh, the product manager of Giti.com. Giti.com is the biggest uh, uh, Git self-host SaaS platform in China. And uh, I, tonight, I will show, every, show you uh, we, uh, the OSX Compass, or we call it Chaos Compass, which is have, uh, we designed and uh, we work with uh, Ye Hui on the product design. And let me show you uh, the detail and why we did it. Okay, uh, maybe you can get what we want to do uh, on the string of that. Yeah, uh, Chaos Compass, we have three module uh, yet and um, Sorry, my English is so poor, so maybe uh, a bit difficult to describe that. I uh, understand you just we, fine. You're doing great. Okay, we want to uh, help developer to solve something by uh, when he uh, visit our website and he can uh, get the detailed design data for for his open source project, either a single repository or a multi-repository project. So he can get uh, on our homepage, user will be uh, shown the number of our uh, the open source project and include disease surveys and models and metrics we have. And we will show how we work for his project. And when he input his Get repository in the index. He can get uh, he can he can get the report of his project. If he can't find that, maybe we have not uh, get the data to uh, search and collection for him. So uh, he can we we will help him to open a pull request on Giti or github.com. And uh, once the pull request is merged, we will start to clash all the data about this project and analyze it. Finally, we will send him a project report. He can visit it on our website. And here is the project uh, the report of our 
our service, I can sum it. Uh, here is, is a, a example. First, he can switch the range of time he want to see about this project in uh, three months, seven, six months, or even more uh, longer. And on the left, we will show what we help, what we want to show him uh, about the metric and the service. We have three, uh, now we have three, uh, she accept about code quality, uh, code quality and community support and community service and community activity. There is a total of 27 attended. And uh, due to some reason, I will not to show you all the metric, but I will show you how we use it and how the UI UX to help you user to understand why it is important to his project. So uh, maybe I can open some tips. Here is just an example. And now we, we are developing uh, the web service and uh, some backend, backend model, service for model. Okay, so we want to, uh, in a short, we hope to use a visual method to help the project uh, better to growing up. So you can see here is one of the co of conduct and gradentity, how we help him to understand uh, when he his project in a, uh, in a short time, he can get the uh, uh, every one every every metric of his his project and his his community. Sorry. So uh, and this is the community and service part, and this is the community activity. Uh, maybe is so look look like uh is too simple. Uh, uh after. Mm, one month or two months, we maybe uh, we may uh, open the SaaS service and everyone can try it. Okay, this is the single project report, and uh, we have another report. Is if you want to see the project between MySQL or Postgres, you want to know which community service more or somewhere is better to the user, you can compare them. So we will make some uh, metric to compare between two projects and three projects and more. And uh, after here, here just some, some numbers, but after that, we will have more uh, chart to explain how different there are and how um, which one is better, but we want we don't want to make something uh, argue between two community. We just want to help them to grow better. And that's our thank you. This is great. Um, so thanks for the presentation and. Thanks for the work. Uh, this is amazing. I have a few questions, but uh, we'll see if other people have questions or comments that they would like to add first. All right, well, I'll, I'll start with a few of my questions. So the, did I understand right that, that Giddy will provide community reports to all to all projects is that correct uh as a SaaS service and uh the project must be uh probably by uh a pro 
through a pull request. We will have to okay. reference tree on GitHub.com or GitHub.com. Okay. Yeah. So it's a it's a pull request to create the report, or it's a pull request like just as activity within the project. Is it does the project request the report? I guess is my question. Or is the report automatically provided by Giddy? Uh, you just need to open a project once and okay. after that, what once it was merged, we were auto collection collection the project mm -hmm. data auto mentioning. Okay. 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 Gotcha. Uh, actually, I just sent the link about uh, this project information record, which uh, as mentioned by Sheng Xiang that. Uh, we use this repository to re record all the uh, project who's who's wanna uh, who's wanna uh, get this report or analysis or insight. So, okay. uh, um, if you uh, maybe I can I can share my screen a little bit. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Yehui. Yeah. Turn to you, Yehui. Yeah, I just opened up these projects. As you can see that we divided as two parts, one single project, which means you just want you just want to analysis one single repository. And uh, you can you can submit uh, no matter the repository from Getty or, or repository from, from GitHub. This is just the example. And uh, currently the um, the format of this template is quite simple. You just uh, can uh, uh, fail this. Uh, your 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 repository's URL. That's pretty much at uh, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is for the single repository. And if you want to anal analysis the whole community, so here here is another uh, template. First, you could uh, provide an uh, organization name and uh, project types. We divided into two types. So we think that a community would. Uh, have two types of uh, repositories. One is about uh, software software artifact project, who um, that is used to produce the final release of the software. That which you can you can list here. It can be multiple uh, repository here. Some other re uh, repository is responsible for the uh, uh, governance or. Um, or uh, operational ways, or provide some infrastructure services. So you can put such a uh, repository here. And uh, we, we using these two types of projects to analysis the final report. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so this so, is a, it's a pull request. The community decides that they would like to have a report and yeah. they fill out the YAML file and yeah. issue a pull request. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Shengxiang, you can uh, you can reshare your screen. Maybe okay. other guys have more questions. Yeah. So that that makes sense. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, I'm you trying have to stop to... your share, Yehui. Yeah. I'm stopping. Let me see. So I'll stop there too. Does anybody have any questions about how you would request a report? Okay, and then so no, go ahead. Yuhui. Yeah, in the first in the first page here, uh, if this project or organizations already existed, you can just uh, type this repository's name here, uh, search it directly. You can find out the the re report. Otherwise, uh, we will uh, uh, introduce you to uh, create new pull request okay. on this repository. Okay, and then are the are the reports uh, available to everybody? Are they yes. public reports? Okay. Yes, because the current report it doesn't include any any personal informations, so we okay. public to everyone. But in okay. the future, maybe it would include some personal information. Uh, mm -hmm. We would have some access control. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Great. Um, again, I'll stop for questions that people might have with respect to, I guess we're really talking about just asking for a report. All right. And then um, with respect to the report too, is, is the report 
So let's say if we're in the chaos project, is the report available through, well, how about this? In this case, is it available through the, the Giddy interface, through, through Compass only, or is the report provided within the chaos org somewhere? Uh, as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we, I think we discussed it earlier before for that. So the, this service would use the chaos.org domain name so okay. pretty much it's a it's a part of the service uh, provided by okay. uh, by chaos okay that's all yeah so and the, report, also, the reports live there yeah and also in order to make it uh, 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 to quickly searched by other guys we may use some uh, the redundant uh, domain name for example, compass dot uh, name, but uh, we uh, we would maintain two domain name yep. in the at the same time. Okay. But but anyway, uh, in the international uh, uh, open source community, we would provide it as a chaos dot org okay. name. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and guess... and uh, and uh, your second question is that uh, uh, is it only provided on this compass? Uh, no, um, in the future, in Getty, they will mm -hmm. uh, reuse this data to their own uh, projects sh showing on the Getty okay. directly. Uh, by the way, we will decide a uh, why get, you know, uh, the user can put their uh, report as a quickly overview uh, on their website, on anywhere, on anywhere. Uh, not mm -hmm. exactly uh, their project, uh, their repository, their website, uh, or their document. Yeah, just like a white cat. That makes sense. Okay, that's good. Okay, again, I'll stop and see if people have comments or questions at this uh, point. I have a question. I yeah. have a quick question. Uh, will this compass provide the reports for uh, both Git and the GitHub? Will the report be mixed here? Uh, you mean you mean uh, to compare two two repositories which belong to the different uh, uh, code host platform, right? Why it belong to? Yes, for yes. Example? Yeah, yeah, That's it's what I mean. Yeah, it's supported. Okay. So currently, in our first release, we 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 are gonna support uh, the data sources. I mean, uh, I mean the repository from the Getty and GitHub. So if you want to ch uh, uh, check uh, any repositories on the Getty or GitHub, you can just create a pull request. The things, the reason why we would like to set up this pull request is that it's kind of like, um, you know, <coughs> uh, the infrastructure, uh, we have to consider the calculation performance for the whole services. So we need the kind of uh, to control at the beginning and to evaluate um, how many, how much e infrastructure investment e investment uh, in the near future we would uh, uh, to make. So yeah, maybe yeah. in the future we could uh, directly let user uh, fill the any repository's name and we can help them to create this. Uh, uh, to provide it such service. Okay, okay, great. And the, the infrastructure is currently located, it's where is the infrastructure? Uh, Shunxiang, do you know where it, it's located? Uh, now it is located at Wuxi in China. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, in China, right? So uh, we, which cloud uh, do we use? Uh, now we use uh, Baidu, Baidu okay. cloud. Okay. So in our first uh, release, we are gonna deploy all the services located in China. But as I as as we planned, uh, of course, current, still uh, still even it's in China, it's public for all over the world people. And uh, in the future, it to in order to improve the whole performance of the service, we will uh, allow uh, 
locate more service outside of the China mainland, maybe mm -hmm. in Hong Kong or any other uh, locations. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we have a, yeah we we have a plan about how to uh, make more cloud platform can support our uh, port and uh, even more build some proxy network for our safe user. Yeah. Now is uh, not you can you can visit it everywhere. I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sort of part of my question is I don't know what <laughs> I'll have to ask what if there's anything that we need to be watching out about with respect to to the Linux Foundation and China. I don't think there is, but I probably it's a question I need to ask. I, does anybody on the call know anything about this, even though you're not a lawyer <laughs> kind of thing? Um, uh, I'm not sure because currently all the public reports will not include any any personal uh, or private information. Okay. All the data, all the data we we got, it's okay. through the public way. Yep. Yep. Do so. Do you have Do you have GitHub ID or Git ID in in this plan? You You mean login or? Yeah, yeah, uh, because I asked the I asked the, the personal personal information include the GitHub login ID or Git login ID or email like this. <clears throat> if we don't have this information, so we don't need to care about the personal information mm -hmm. like this. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, uh, I think um, uh, it's it's all about the data privacy, uh, terms of service, such things. Uh, we would uh, uh, check with uh, some lawyers uh, from my company and from okay. Gates company. Uh, yeah. Also, meantime, meantime, <laughs> if we got some uh, output for this term of service. Uh, we would share with uh, with you guys, and maybe if if needed, we can we, we can talk with the Linux Foundation. Yeah, that would probably be uh, good from my perspective, just to make sure import export laws sure. are also being thought about. So that would probably be a good conversation, um, and I can reach out to to folks at the LF if we want to set up that meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you for that. Okay, um, any other questions or comments on, on this, on currently where we're at right now? Okay, um, and you, you and I can maybe just talk on Slack about setting that up. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so if, uh, could you move a little bit to the right, to the left or to the right, <laughs> slide it to the left so that we can see what's on the right. right. Yeah, thank you. All right. Oh, no, that's okay. Thank you. And so these are the panel that I'm looking at on the left. These are the metrics models as I see them. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so just kind of as a, a note for this recording too, the, the trend lines at the top are chaos metrics models as changing over time. Not It doesn't look like all of them are, but it looks like a lot of them are. Is, is that uh, correct? Cur currently, we only pick, uh, because this is just um, a designing work. I mean, the, yeah. a template, um, but the currently we, uh, we already verified uh, uh, code quality guarantee, mm -hmm. community support, community activities, and the community service and support. And um, maybe in the future, uh, if any of the metrics model in chaos has been ready, we think yeah. we would include it. Okay. Into the okay. So it looks like so that top graph is kind of a a large overview of perhaps the metrics models kind of together, yeah. is that correct? And then 
as a user, you could look particularly at one metric model, code quality in this case, and then it looks like further, you could take a look at the individual metrics yeah. that constitute the code quality metric model. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So I like that because it's a, it's a cool aggregation of the metrics into a model and then kind of looking at the models together yeah. for a project. Yeah, because for this, for some metrics, it's um, uh, we would like to de uh, deep dive into the more insights. So okay. based on one metrics, we would uh, expand more. Um, I mean, sub metric for this metric as a as a diagram. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, uh, the uh, issue response time. Mm -hmm. If you think this issue response time for this community is too long, and uh, you can deep, you you can open up uh, find out another diagram that this is the list of the issue, mm -hmm. and it's an open time. So you can check. Okay, this this is something we need to care about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This, I'm sorry, did somebody else have a comment on this or I want to make sure I didn't. All right. Um, so any anybody else kind of have a comment on this this panel that we're looking at right now, which is metrics models uh, down to the individual metrics. All right, cool. Um, and then the panel, the last panel, yep. So this is, okay. this would be an opportunity for uh, to whatever, a community manager or somebody who's interested in a variety of different um, communities to compare them based on it looks like it's based on metrics models. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. Uh, we use we use ecosystem back uh, this context area mm -hmm. uh, to divide it into three dimensions. Okay. Productivity, robustness, and create um, cre creation niche creation. Yeah. And, and uh, you you can compare. You can select multiple uh, communities or or repositories here to give okay. the. But anyway, as 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 Sheng Xiang mentioned earlier, we are not going to uh, give a uh, a general or final score of any uh, project or repository because we are not going to give it a ranking something. Right. We just yeah, we just want to give the uh, a full insight or overview inside of the uh, different community comparison. Yep. Okay. Um... Okay, so that makes sense. So, but I mean, the, the nice thing is, is um, this is providing some value judgment on the projects a little bit more than we've done in the past in chaos. So we've, we've traditionally been very agnostic on the metrics, but this is starting to kind of show them um, as trends and as going up and down, not necessarily better or worse, but it, it I think it helps a lot. So this is cool. Um, do I should I care about the numbers that are in this table or no? Like uh, this, they're just the fake numbers. I think okay. we, we we didn't give them the real number. This is just just design and work. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, all right. Do other people have questions on the comparison part on this? Okay. So the the hope is is that this would be deployed. Do you have a time frame that you're looking at? Yep. Uh, actually, we uh, we we have planned that uh, we would pre-launch this service around this uh, around this month, and uh, we officially 
uh, launch it by the end of this year, maybe uh, November or September. Oh, okay. sorry, December. Yep. Okay. And then the plan is to the source code, the, the code that's being used to drive this would be contributed to the chaos project. Is that right or no? Yes, exactly. Uh, actually, we, I, I, as I just sent the, the link about yeah. open metrics code, we, we are all working together here with, with the KT engineers. Okay. And, uh, and after we, we launch the first release, uh, we will contribute the whole solution. To, okay, to the so, chaos. okay, so basically the workflow would be the open metrics code repository on GitHub is where the the project would kind of live on GitHub and then that could be donated to the chaos project from, yep, yep. from there. Okay. Okay. Um I'm trying to think of other does anybody have any other questions that they have? Hi, it's Elizabeth. I do. Yeah, I have a quick question. Um, this is awesome, A. So thank you for all of your hard work on this. This looks really great. I'm I'm really excited to see how this unfolds and how this goes. Um, a quick question about documentation. So if we have someone in the Chaos Project that wants to contribute when it's you know when it's all open and and ready for contributors. Um, is there a uh, documentation on like how it works and where things are and I'm just thinking we have a lot of um, newcomers to chaos from the chaos Africa community and they're always looking for things to contribute to so um, this might be something that they can also work on eventually so just curious about documentation. Yeah, I think actually it is just to mention the really key point of this service. We have to provide uh, fully documentations, how to use that, how to design it, how to join the contribution together around this service. I actually, we are, um, we have a planning uh, at the beginning that for each of single metrics model, actually we already have documentations uh, because as you, uh, uh, as you know that all the metrics model would be based on the exact exists the metrics model in chaos. So for that part, it's cool. But for the rest of the other part, for the designing uh, documentations and the, you, you, uh, and the user documentations, um, honestly speaking, <laughs> it's, it's still start from zero. Uh, we do have a lot of designing uh, uh, documentations just uh, could be communicated with each other around the GT and, and my team. But uh, but uh, I I kind of need some support for that because you know we are we we are in Chinese we are in China we speak Chinese and we could write some documentations but um, we kind of need help to help us to write in some good documentations who could be understandable or easily to be understand uh, by 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 other people all over the world. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think documentation is always the challenge, <laughs> regardless regardless of the language. That just adds an extra little step for for all of us. So that's totally fine. Um, I know you know Augur has been. Um, we've been working on documentation for Augur, and it's been around for a long time. So <laughs> no worries there, Yuhui. Um, appreciate yeah. your uh, you being candid about that. Um, and you know we can we can talk about that and like no problem is is not you know, everything is solvable everything is workable so not a big deal. Yeah, from my from my thinking because this is already a service, so um, we can we can just uh, pro, uh, we can firstly provide some uh, user documentation to talk to to tell people how to use that, and uh, and uh, and then st the next step we will write uh, uh, designing. Uh, documentations, including how to uh, how to contribute on this service, and um, so we can we can do it step by step. I mean. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Any other questions from folks? 
anyway, uh, document, uh, maybe uh, I have tried to translate many, many, many uh, article, uh, technical teach article uh, from English into Chinese uh, last year. And I think it's maybe it's just a um, hard work which, which we, we, we should put many time to do it. And uh, another way, uh, maybe uh, we, we will provide the SAS as by English interface at first. And after that, we may uh, we will translate it in, into Chinese um, because we may uh, service more uh, spend more time to uh, translate it in Chinese. Is uh, Git is the biggest platform, open source platform in China. So it is a is a way to trans trans uh, transfer it. So uh, we may uh, do something in Chinese. Maybe it's a good way. And uh, translate is a simple work. <laughs> if it, if we use open source way to solve that. Maybe I think. Agreed. And I think if we can build a community of folks to help translate, that would be great. I think this is just, totally just this point. do it like like an open source project. Yes, agreed. <laughs> great. Okay. Um, and then just one last question for me. The 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 software that's being used for this, is it Grimoire Lab? That is yes, the background is Groom Lab, but except okay. for the Groom Lab module, we produce we produce several new modules uh, for the service, including scheduler and web service, and also the the matrix model as a, as brand new modules, which used okay. to you know calculate the the okay. result. Okay, gotcha. I, I I thought that was the case, but I thought I would ask. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, great. Uh, well, this was a really wonderful presentation. Thank you for this. It's really exciting to see. Any last questions for for anybody? Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Um, well, maybe we can just address the last. Oh, how about this? Uh, Yehui, you know, or Shenzhen, are there things that you need to talk about with the community at the moment, or should we just continue? To, should we just wait? I think there are a few things you that you and I should coordinate on, but in terms of of this moving forward, it sounds like we we might be just wait and hear more in the future. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, so Shenzhen, can you stop your share? I'm going to share my oh, screen. Okay. Okay. So there were just a few things that I wanted to point out. So a huge thank you. That's that's this. That was that was this part of the the call. Um, there is an issue open, so in the translations repository. So, Liang, you had said some students might have an interest in helping with some of the, they're pretty small translations. Yes, yes. So I'm you located. could just, yeah, you could just point them to this issue, and it should be, there's a, well, I can show you, there's a, it's just a link. Okay. It kind of shows all of the different metrics that were updated with minor changes and they should be able to take a look at the the um, changes in github and and see what needs to be updated from a translations perspective and as they have questions they can just ask them here in the issue okay all right all right um Okay, so we, as far as two metrics models go, the, these have been open for comment. There's in the Slack workspace. The issues have been opened, uh, and so we're just receiving public comment on these two metrics models. Um, 
just a note here. This is from our, our meeting last week. So there are some metrics models that contain metrics that need to be developed. And I went through uh, kind of that list of all of our metrics models and tried to pull out what metrics need to be developed in support of the metrics models. And this is what I came up with. And so we've been circulating these to the working groups and we're working on on this development so thank you so much yep i i noticed that uh, elizabeth has helped uh, create this meeting count uh attendees i, I guess a meeting count. yeah actually elizabeth do you have this, that this really? one yeah yeah. Uh, think... yeah it's it's almost done we um it's it's been through one set of revisions from the common working group and a few comments so i'm just um, in the process of cleaning up those final comments and then that metric will be ready will be ready to go do you all want to see it or we probably don't have time i think we have this link uh before uh, we don't have to look look at this uh, uh, during the meeting, maybe I'll yeah, I think I maybe you yeah, can just I think I put it in, it in the Slack. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can put it in the minutes, Elizabeth. Sure. Okay. Cool. All right, and then just a note: uh, we have a few open metrics models that are still making progress. Uh, June, I just saw you had a PR this morning, which I think is the entirely new updated metric model, not entirely new but just kind of like addressing some of the edits that we had talked about in the past is that correct is that what this pr is june yeah yeah okay um i'll take a look i'll review and take a look at that pr and i'm sure if it's just a copy and paste then it's just <laughs> not a problem <laughs> Thanks. Cool. yeah cool thank you um and then we have two that are still kind of Moving forward, I don't know, we're not going to really have time to talk about these today, but code quality guarantee and community service and support. I'll just show one for a second. Um, but I think there are just a few comments that we need to resolve in terms of just kind of finalizing this metric. Um, or I'm sorry, in terms of finalizing this metric model. Um, and at that point, I think we can, you know, kind of mark it in, in the spreadsheet is under review and kind of move it, move it out to the community, similar to code quality guarantee. We can uh, look for public comment from the community the same way that we're doing for um, event badging and community activity. Do, do you think it's possible to, to re release these metrics? Um, this year, I mean, in these October, yeah, these? October, yeah. Um, so we would pr in, yeah, we could probably, uh, because if if yeah. it's too many works before we release it, we can pick up some high priority metrics, which is you already use the metrics model. Yeah. Trying to think. So we will probably start talking about like bringing these to the evolution working group probably next week, but we, because we don't have a meeting, it, it may be the end of October before we can get to some of these. Mm -hmm. Sure. Just so you know. Yeah. And also, I think the freeze should be coming soon because we will have a freeze of for a 30 day review period before we release in October. So yeah. that metrics freeze should be coming really soon, probably after chaos con, I would imagine. Probably we can we can do the rolling release. For these Elizabeth, you know what I mean? So they're not part of the official like six months. Totally. Early, yeah, they're available. You know, to to be viewed for this purpose. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So my thought that was kind of my thought. Um, we can make them available. And some of these, like, I think we had talked about like downloads. Some of these are not going to take very long, <laughs> you know? Yeah, for real. They're pretty quick. Um, so why don't, 
why don't I kind of take an action item to maybe start at least begin some of the documents for these just so we have them all at least in a um, template form and we could probably spend some time in evolution just working through these do you know when evolution meets again Elizabeth um yes I do it they meet again on September 20th okay Okay, so um, maybe, but they're also yeah. changing kind of leadership and it's in a mm -hmm. little bit of a transitional period. So hopefully maybe, people show up. <laughs> maybe I can reach out to Armstrong and we can, if he's going to be kind of leading some of the efforts in evolution, I can reach out to him and we can kind of coordinate that way, at least through Slack to start. Yeah, that sounds good. I think he's still recovering from surgery, so I don't know how much energy he has at the moment, but yes. Um, and I can also help with that, Matt. Just loop me okay. in. I'm, I'm happy to help coordinate okay. everything. Because I'm thinking maybe we could start these. You know how I started like for the for DEI badging or wait, uh, yeah, for project badging, like there were those two metrics that we needed. Yeah. I just yeah. started them like in Slack, basically. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like yeah. here they are. Let's just send it out to that working group via Slack. And then, so maybe we could kind of start that process even prior. I think that's excellent. Yeah, excellent okay. idea. Okay, sounds good. Okay, um, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. Uh, all right, so we're at the end of time. Uh, you who we all connect with you on Slack and we can try to yep. Yep. coordinate some, some lawyer time there. Yep. Okay, sure. All sure. right, cool. Well, thank you, everybody. Amazing presentation. It's good to see everybody. And we will certainly see you next time. Pre-congratulations for the next uh, summit. I mean, next uh, uh, next week. Thank you. Pre-congratulations. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.